in the midst of all the hustle and bustle of life, sometimes it's nice to have just a beautiful, slow, peaceful morning. What's up y'all? Today we're going to make a compost system. We're going to do a modified Johnson Sioux compost, a bioreactor if you want to give it technical terms. Um, I know a lot of you care a lot about compost. We care a lot about compost and it's so helpful for growing plants and everything. And so what we're going to try and do today is use what we have here to make a Johnson Sioux bioreactor. Now, I know there's some very specific details to how these are created and I want to say up front that what we are making is a modified version. We're not following the plans exactly. We're going to do some things with it that might make some of y'all mad or angry or y'all are going to say that ain't the right way to do it and we think that that's okay. What we're doing is above anything else we just want compost and I think this way that we're going to do it is going to work well we're going to try it out and learn from it if it doesn't work then we can fix it later on and that's the beautiful thing about doing things around the homestead here is you can try things and if it doesn't work you can fix it and keep moving and uh yeah so join us and see what we come up with and um we're excited to, to grow plants we're getting back into it we've had a couple of weeks where we've been doing lots of other things outside of just the normal homestead getting stuff ready for plants and everything so i'm excited to get back on the projects around here and bring you guys along with us so let's have some fun all right so here we go now for this what we have is they're rusty so they blend in with the ground um, we've gone to one of the big box stores and we've gotten uh, this metal Fencing. It's basically what they actually lay in concrete to strengthen concrete as they put it down But you can find it for pretty cheap and it's a perfect size So what we what we're doing we're overlapping them and then I'm gonna attach I'm gonna use zip ties you could use metal wire um, Whatever you want, but we're gonna attach it here and Then we're gonna lay we have some landscape fabric that we're gonna lay down over top and that basically creates a barrier but also still allows air through as this thing is finished up so that all the stuff we put in for composting will still have air hitting it and everything so we're gonna attach this together first and then I'm gonna do something I haven't seen in any of these that I'll show you guys in just a minute Got our zip ties there in place now what I want to do and what I want to have and this may be beneficial or not is at the bottom of this I actually want to have a door on each side that we could for most of the time leave closed but if we ever wanted to get compost especially from the bottom out of it but not get all of it out that we can open up these doors and shovel out the bottom rather than having to shovel in from the top of it um, so what I'm gonna do for that I have a couple extra of these I'm gonna cut out a couple of small rectangles out of here on each side and then I'm gonna use our other one and cut out a couple of small rectangles and basically use them as doors so that if we want to we can get into the bottom of this thing and scoop and shovel stuff out um, it may be beneficial it may not in my brain it kind of works and will be helpful so uh, that's what we're going to do
See? I can use our old ones. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll go grab the old one. Go ahead. It's filming. Go grab the old. All right, Papa's holding up the fence. So we've got our, it might be difficult to see. We've got our openings cut there. One that's gonna end up being on each side. Now what we're gonna do is I have some spare over here we'll cut out the doors on out of that one of those and then as it's laying down we're gonna lay our landscape fabric on it and attach it first and then we'll stand it back up after the landscape fabric is attached and form it into a circle so we've got our weed block laid out looks like we're gonna need two rows of it it just doesn't quite reach the top but I'm gonna cut it on the end and then we're just gonna use zip ties and place it and zip tie it to it all the way down. fabric attached now what we're gonna do is bend it into the shape of a circle and attach the ends with you guessed it more zip ties and we're gonna bend it so that the weed barrier is on the inside of the circle we've got our doors cut out we'll be adding the other door we'll be adding the doors to it after we do this but I got Papa here who's helping me and yeah we're just gonna make this into a circle Got it finished up. Papa, come on over here. Papa's behind the camera. We finished it and got it in the spot back here. Now, where we've situated this is close to our chicken coop. And then if you keep looking, we're gonna have our garden over here in this area. And um, the goal is to kind of keep everything close together. So what we've done, we've got it We've got our reactor done and finished. We've put our PVC pipe on the inside and uh, the fancy science behind it is, is basically this allows air to get into it from all sides, even in the <coughs> And so I think the rule is something like, they did lots of studies. Scientists and people that are way smarter than we are did lots of studies and figured out that air will travel through compost about <coughs> a foot and a half. And so what this allows is air to travel from the inside and from the outside, and we never have to turn it. So what we're gonna put in here is all of our shavings from the chickens. You have your browns, uh, all our garden waste and things like that, or yard waste. You have your greens, which will actually cause the reaction to happen. So yard clippings, plants, grass trimmings work great, are gonna go in here. And then all of our compostable foods and stuff that we eat. Basically anything that will break down food-wise we'll add in here. And the whole reactor, if it was filled up, would take about a year. And after about a year, it turns into just really good, rich soil 
uh, compost to use in your garden. Now what we did, and this was my idea that I hadn't seen on any of the others, my thought is, is let's say we want to get to it before the year is up. As we put stuff in, the bottom stuff is going to break down before the top will break down. So I thought it would be great to have some way to access the stuff at the bottom to you. So we added, and I just got twisty ties holding it shut right now. On each side of this, what we've added, basically what we added on each side is a little trap door. So as it's shut, it will hold everything in. But let's say that we want to get to some of this and use it. We can just open the door and scoop it out from the bottom. And then as we finish up, we can close the door back up and the twisty ties will hold it together and just use it as needed. And you know, if we decide to use it before the year's up, will it be completely broken down? Probably not, but you know, that's okay. Cause if we're using it in our garden, it's gonna continue to break down anyways. So that's the, the thought process behind it, behind doing it this way. It may work and it may not, but we love trying stuff out and seeing what we can figure out. And if it doesn't work, we just regroup and figure out something else. So anyways, this is our Johnson Sioux reactor. We're gonna get to filling it up. Thing that we forgot to show and we talk about and I say we because no. Nicole has been missing a lot from a lot of the last videos and I've been giving her a hard time because I like seeing her in the videos and y'all should comment about how much you love seeing her in the videos no. we need more Nicole in our lives all of us anyways we forgot to show that there is a lid that goes on this and it is made out of, we made ours out of a piece of cloth, a weed barrier cloth, four by eight, that is just folded in half and we poked some holes in it. And then I took some paracord and ran it in and out so that way we could pull it tight. And that allows us to keep a lid on it, but still have the airflow. And um, it comes off pretty easily. If you look inside, you can see we've been adding stuff in. And what we have a pile in our backyard that is full of already composted stuff that we've been using partially in our fall garden, which watch stay our next tuned. video. Yeah, stay tuned because we have got our fall garden going and started and we're really excited about that. But we've added some things in and we have some more already partially composted stuff that we're going to add in which will help because the chemical reaction that happens has already started and it'll help this stuff along well um, i don't know if i mentioned this but i know a lot of the proper johnson sioux reactors are built on pallets or you set them on pallets and that is for air to flow up underneath and i thought about doing that but one of the things I really want to see happen is bugs and worms and things of that nature get up inside of this and start to eat and move around and poop and help with that process. So I thought we're going to put ours directly on the ground um, in this dirt to see if we can get more worms and things like that crawling up inside that eat. And Sherbert right loves there. it. Oh yeah, Sherbert. Well, she comes over and smells it. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things we put in, we had shrimp. So there's some shrimp shells down in there that uh, she thinks smells pretty good. <laughs> Last night around, we got home after the Alabama and Tennessee victory. Tennessee beat Alabama. Woo -woo. 
Thank you. We'll have to put a clip in yeah. of that reaction. <laughs> good hold. Give me a good hold, Paxton. Silence. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah! <laughs> it was awesome. We came home, we were all pumped. We went down to check on the chickens because it was dark and sometimes they don't get into their coop before, you know. The... And so the door goes down. So we got home, we went to go check on them and Ryan was down here for way longer than normal. And I was like, hello, Ryan, come, come back in. He didn't come back in. He finally about 15 minutes later came back in and he's like, I think we've lost one, Luna. I think we've lost Luna the chicken. And I said, what? Luna's my favorite. Yeah. I know, don't play favorites or whatever, love them all. Luna's my favorite. Anyway, Luna's our dark bearded chicken and she was missing. And so I came down and looked for her after he said I couldn't find her. We don't know where she went. So we thought she's gone or maybe she just got snatched up by a hawk or came out got two of around. them or at least one they had our little first round of netting they had found a, a loose corner and I, one of them had crawled out and i guess luna had too yeah so luna was missing so we went to bed last night thinking luna was a goner we aren't we're only down to eight chickens sad day so this morning i go outside to check on the chickens and there she was, Luna. She was so cold. She was right outside of the coop, like, let me in, let me in. Um, and I snatched her up and she was wet and cold. She must have slept by herself out here somewhere. Somewhere in this other room, which we scoured. I don't know where she was. She went right to the food, munched up her breakfast, and she was happy as a lark. So Luna's back. She's back. Like and subscribe. Anyway, no, well, any any thoughts on this bioreactor down here? For me? Yeah. Oh, I love it. I think it's great. I'm compost away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I really think that the term is cool. Bioreactor. She sounds scientific. Bioreactor sounds way yeah. more like Very we fancy. know yeah. what we talk about <laughs> rather than just calling it a compost bin. Absolutely. Because things bioreact down there. I do. Anyways, we will join us next time. We're going to do some stuff with our fall garden. I'm going to do a real quick look. Oh, what? <laughs> Anyways. Tune in next week. We've been working. We've been working. Mm -hmm. So tune in next time and make sure you like and subscribe. There's little buttons and things that pop up.